So we're going to talk about how you can grow your OnlyFans account using Instagram, but I guarantee this is a strategy you've never seen before. Let's take a look. What's going on? This is Scotty, and if you don't know who I am, I've been doing social media automation since 2015, and in this series, we are talking about OnlyFans. Now, I've had the privilege of working with many top 1% creators, and so the question is, how do they do it? Are they posting mainly on Reddit or TikTok or Twitter, maybe some other platform we don't even know about? How do they price their subscriptions? How do they offer their pay-per-view? How do they have so many damn subscribers all the time? Well, take your shoes off and get comfortable because on this channel, you're about to find out. And don't forget, if you want to see the number one secret OnlyFans creators are using to increase their subscribers and make more money on autopilot, just click the link in the description and you can check out the video here. All right, so let's get right into this video. We are talking about how to grow on OnlyFans using Instagram automation. And uh, this is actually a strategy that I've been using since about 2016. But interestingly enough, I've never actually seen a video about this on YouTube. So this will be a really fun one to, uh, to go over. And this works well for really any type of promotion, whether you're promoting OnlyFans or you know anything else. But, but what we're gonna cover here is first we have to go over basic Instagram strategy so that you actually understand how to get traffic and conversions from Instagram. And then I'm going to cover how you can automate that entire process so that you can really scale and get a ton of traffic from Instagram. Now, just so you have a basic idea of what to do here, I'm going to go ahead and bring this on screen. This is Sierra and I use her for a lot of these, you know, different examples and demonstrations. Uh, but this is obviously one of her Instagram accounts right here. And so if we look at the Instagram account, she's got her little bio right here and she's got a link in the bio. And so when I click on this link in the bio, that brings us obviously to her bridge page where she's got her OnlyFans link right there. And so all she's really doing with this page is posting reels. So there's all these reels on the page right here. And so the only thing that you really have to do with this basic setup is obviously set up your link in the bio that has your OnlyFans links, and then you're gonna post reels. And the final step is to interact with people that follow other creators. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring uh, her thing back on the screen right here. And so one of the best ways to get traffic is to actually engage with other people that are obviously going to be interested in Sierra. And one way I can do that, if I come up to the search bar here, I'm just gonna type in Miss Poin. Okay, so the real Miss Poin Dexter. So this is another OnlyFans creator, and she's kind of in that, you know, mom next door type of niche which is basically the same niche that Sierra is in as well. And so what I wanna do here is I'm gonna come right up here to her followers, all the people that are following her account. I'm gonna open that up and I'm just gonna start following uh, you know, some of these people right here. And what's gonna happen is these people are going to see that they're being followed from Sierra and they're gonna become curious. They're gonna say, who is this girl that's following me? And they're gonna click on her go back to her account, they're gonna check out her content, and you know a certain percentage of these people will end up subscribing to her on OnlyFans. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back off the screen here. So hopefully you have a basic idea of how this strategy works. You're basically gonna post reels and you're gonna interact with other people that are following other creators. That's gonna bring traffic to the Instagram account, People are going to click the link in the bio and then they're going to click on the OnlyFans button and subscribe to you on OnlyFans from there. That's the basic strategy, but now let's talk about how to scale. Okay, so let's bring up this little demonstration right here. So this is basically the same thing. You know, we've got traffic coming to this main account right here. People are going to click the link in the bio. They're going to click on Sierra's OnlyFans button and then they're going to subscribe to her from there. But now what we want to do is we want to duplicate this process so that you can obviously get more traffic over to the OnlyFans account. So, okay, so the first step in the process is to use this tool right here. And I've actually covered uh, this tool in some of my previous videos. If you want to check this out, I will have it linked down in the description below. In fact, I'll have uh, all the different tools and systems that I use linked down below if you click the resources link down there. But basically what this tool is going to do is it's going to automatically take the reels from Sierra's main account and it's going to repost it to the backup account or basically repost it to the secondary account. In fact, this is called the mother child method. So we can imagine this as the mother account and this is the child account. Okay, so what it's going to do is Sierra's going to post her reel on the mother account and it's going to automatically repost that reel to the child account. 
Okay, and so now that's gonna get a little bit of exposure to this account, and we've obviously got some exposure coming to this account. So now we've got a little bit more traffic coming to the OnlyFans page. But like I demonstrated earlier, one of the key factors here is that you want to go on the account and you want to interact with other people that are following different creators. So how can we actually duplicate that process? How can we automate that process? Okay, so let me bring this other tool on the screen right here. So this is a different tool, and again, I'll have this linked down in the description below. But basically, what you can do with this tool is if I come right here to Solutions and I come all the way down right here where it says uh, Instagram down here, I'm gonna click on that. And this allows me to basically automate all of these tasks on Instagram. So if I scroll through here, all these different little modules are basically different things that you can automate on Instagram. And so for this example, for this method, what the module that we would want to use is this one right here, Instagram followers auto follow. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to target a certain uh, OnlyFans creator and it's going to start following all of the people that are following that account. Okay, so now basically what we've got is we've got traffic coming to this account because Sierra's posting reels and she's also interacting with other users that's driving traffic here and that's obviously sending traffic here. What's also happening is it's going to automatically repost the reels to the child account and this child account is going to be automated. It's going to go out there and it's going to automatically interact with people that are following other creators. So now we have a lot more traffic coming from the mother account and from the child account. And so once we have this working properly, then obviously the next step would be to scale this even further, right? So we're basically just going to reproduce this process so that we've got basically four child accounts and one mother account. Now the thing to keep in mind here is that you don't want to use automation on the mother account. At least not the type of automation that's gonna go out there and it's gonna automatically follow people, it's gonna automatically you know, leave comments or likes and things like that. You don't wanna use that type of automation on the mother account because Instagram frowns upon that type of automation and we wanna keep this main account safe. So basically, once you do this, you're gonna have all these child accounts that are helping the mother account, you know, send traffic to the OnlyFans link. But because these child accounts are using that type of automation, they're actually at higher risk for getting banned. So these might get banned every now and again, and you just simply replace them and it doesn't really harm the process because the mother account is safe. Now, the other thing you can do is you can actually use these child accounts to send additional traffic to the mother account. So in other words, you have these child accounts sending traffic here. Okay, they're also sending traffic here. Okay, and you also have the mother account obviously sending the most traffic like that. Okay, so what that looks like, if I bring Sierra's Instagram back on the screen right here, this is actually one of her child accounts. Okay, so if we look in the bio right here, we can see that she's shouting out her main account right there. And then she's also got her bio link, which obviously has her OnlyFans button and stuff like that. So this is sending traffic to the main account. This is sending traffic directly to the OnlyFans link. And as a result, her main account is going to get followers a bit more quickly. And she's obviously going to get, you know, more traffic to her OnlyFans links. So that's it for this one. Again, if you want to see the number one secret OnlyFans creators are using to increase their subscribers and make more money on autopilot, just click the link in the description and you can check out the video here. And if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.